I started a candle business. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So last week I uploaded a video listing some of the side hustle ideas for 2024 and one of them was starting a candle business. So after some research and instead of overthinking it, I started making candles. I will be starting from zero and I'll be vlogging everything. So if you're interested in this kind of content and would like to follow the journey, don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out. Hi everyone, I'm so excited because today is delivery day which means the materials I've ordered for candle making have finally arrived and I can start making them. I'm so excited, I started laying out everything. I've started preheating the oven to heat up the vessels because after some research, it turns out it's easier to pour wax into the vessels if they're warmed up. And I also want my candles to look identical to each other so I measured out precisely how much wax I need for X amount of candles and I started cleaning out all of the vessels so I can pour wax into them without dirt or anything floating inside because it has to be perfect next up is melting the wax i ordered these soy wax flakes which is really easy to pour and also easy to melt as opposed to some of the chunks that i've seen online that you have to cut yourselves which is a lot more work and now i just like watching the wax melt and as i continue to clean the vessels and put them into the oven to heat up look at them all nice and lined up and ready to go and while the wax is still melting, which is actually taking a lot longer than expected, I started picking out the essential oils that I have thought about that would go well with the concept of the candles that I have designed. And I started putting out these candle wick holders and sticking the candle wicks onto the sticky pads too so they could be adhered to the bottom of the vessels and won't move when I pour the wax in. And after the candle wick prep work has been done, I measured the temperature of the wax to make sure it is at a good temperature. And then I stick the candle wicks into the vessels and I kind of stabilized it a bit more by pressing it harder. And I added some of the essential oils to make them smell absolutely amazing. Let the wax pouring ceremony begin. I stabilized it with the candle wick holder to make them all nice and central to wait for them to set. I did the same process with all the different candle vessels. There are 12 candle vessels in total. So the other 10, I tried to stabilize it a bit more by pushing them down and look at how nice and pretty they all look. And for the tricky and time consuming part, I had to make more wax and I had to measure them and I have to melt them. But it's oddly therapeutic to watch those flavors just melt away into liquid and while that happens i start adding the essential oils into the vessels to get them all ready this collection features three distinct scents so one of them smells like romance it is rose and vanilla the second one smells like success it's coffee martini so essentially an espresso martini and the last one smells like comfort and happiness which is fresh linen all of these scents are actually based on songs by taylor swift's lover album if you are Swifty like me, you'll love these candles because they smell amazing and they remind you of the songs that we love so much. So go grab yourself a candle with the link in the description box below. I started melting even more wax to kind of finish off the final batch of candles. Candle seems simple and easy and it's actually not really complicated, but I do want to highlight the fact that it is very time consuming because it was bright outside when I started and now I'm just pouring wax and all of a sudden it's dark already and I had to turn on the lights in the house. After I poured in the wax, I try to make sure each candle is as level as possible and also relatively identical because I want them to look as 
perfect and as nice and I'm just moving them back to their original positions so that I don't mix up the scents and the fragrances and now we just have to wait for them to set. After the candles have set, and you can see in this really nice view that I panned over, candles might look smooth from far away, but if you look at it close up, there are like tiny cracks, and it's not as smooth as, as perfect as I want them to be. So I utilize this heat gun that I got from Amazon to smooth them out, the surfaces, to make them look as smooth and perfect as possible. But as you can see on the one on the left, there's a massive sinkhole, so I have to put an extra time and try to actually smooth it out. Next comes wick trimming. So I didn't get those fancy professional wick trimmers because I'm trying to save a bit more money on the cost for the business. So I'm just using normal scissors and it is a bit hard to cut at first, but it still works. It serves its purpose. And next off, I need to put stickers on them, which is my favorite part. That's like healing the inner child in me, putting stickers and everything. And first up, I have to clean the candle vessels first and also put the candle safety sticker at the bottom first before I can put the knife nice label stickers on the side. The final moment of putting the candle stickers on. This is always so therapeutic for me. And after all the waiting for the wax to melt, after all the cleaning of the vessels, the waiting for the delivery, finally we have a physical product. I actually spent some time designing this sticker to make it look on point, to make it resonate with the scent and the theme of the candles. I just really like watching videos of other candle business owners packing their orders, putting stickers on candles that they've made super rewarding. I've always loved all these final bits of putting stickers on the candles and packaging them into the boxes. It's always so therapeutic and so nice to see the final product looking all clean and sleek and so well put together. It's just like witnessing your vision come to life. I'm just putting all these candles into their respective boxes that I've stuck the stickers on previously to make them all ready. But of course, we'll need some final touches to seal them up with a perfect black and white combination of stickers. Big one for the brand and a small one to seal the opening. Just putting everything else together and it's just amazing. All this experience, the final product looks amazing. And I'm just stacking them up to kind of appreciate what I've done. If you would like to support the small business, I'll put a link to the website in the description box below and go grab yourself a candle. And that's it for making candles. In the next video, I'll be vlogging how I'm doing the social media side, the promotion, starting a website, etc. So don't forget to stay tuned. I'll see you all next week.